So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. This time it's going to be about Power Query and I'm going to show you how to merge columns the right way in Power Query. So you don't get unexpected results. Yes, you can get unexpected results depending on how you do it. So let me show you. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you some examples of what can go wrong when you're merging things and what is the proper way to do it so you know what you're getting every time. First of all, I have a simple table, color, product and sales. Color is text, product text, sales number. And we want to concatenate them. We want to put them together separated by comma. So you, what you can do, one of the things to do it is you select the three columns and then right click and then merge. Okay, and then you say, okay, I want a comma separated, merge, fine. It will convert the three columns into one. And then everything will merge perfectly. You see red bike 11, wonderful. That's what we wanted. Now, what happens if we want to do this manually? Okay, so why would we want to do this manually? Let's say that we want to add this as an additional column. Let's say that we want to conditional format that. Say if product is spike, then concatenate, otherwise don't. Could be many reasons. How do you do it manually? So if we go to a column, custom column, you probably have done this before. You can do it the same way as you do it in Excel. So you can write color and then concatenated with a comma with ampersand. So product, ampersand, and then sales. And you say, well, good to go. Uh, you get an error. And it says here, we cannot apply operator ampersand to types, text, and number. Okay, so why did it break here and it didn't break on the other one? Let's take a look. If we go up here, you'll see that it says, Table.combine columns. That is the function that Power Query uses when doing the merge with the right click. And look at here. What does it say here? Sales type text. It changed the field type of sales, which was a number to a text on the fly to be able to concatenate them. It recognized that you had text and numbers and then changed everything to text on the fly without you realizing that. Okay? So wonderful function. Very well done, Power Query. But how do we do it here, right? The, well, you have to do it on the fly too. So what you're going to do, you go back here to sales and then you're going to write text from. So you're going to convert the number to text on the fly, right? And that will concatenate it, ish. Not really, look at this. This concatenated perfectly, but if you look at row five, we have null, bike, eight, and it returned null. Well, up here, you had bike, eight, and a blank. When it was a blank, it did it correctly, the same way here, you know, same result, but when it's a null, it's not concatenating at all. Why? This is my guess, I don't know if it's true, but, you know, there is a difference between null and blank values to begin with. I have a video on that, it's going to pop up somewhere here, and I will post down below too, nulls, I think it doesn't have a data type. So you can't convert null to text or to or to number or to nothing. So that's why you can't concatenate it and it returns a null instead. How does Power Query does it here? I'm guessing that it has built in so it can manage nulls. So it will actually do it. So how do we do it? There is a Power Query function called text combine and text combine requires list a list you know you have to put your columns into a list and then you put the separator like comma space whatever you want so this is how it works i'll show you let's open it here i can write it there but so we write text dot combine and then we're going to convert our columns into a list so the curly thing is going to transform it into a list and you still need to convert I'll show you later but you still need to convert sales to to number so now we have our list and then we need to say okay I wanted to have the delimiter a comma and then you click in there you click okay and look what happens in there we get bike 
0.8, which is wonderful, isn't it? So now it is actually concatenating things correctly. <laughs> now, what happens if you remove text from sales, you know, if you leave it as a number? Control X, and then I'm going to put there sales. You'll get the same error, right? So you can't do that. You still need to have numbers and numbers, text and text, in order to put them together with text combined. So if you just do it manually, like we did before, then it will work. Okay, so now think about it. When you are working with dynamic data, you don't know when you're going to get a null value. And if you're concatenating things, the Excel way, you're probably not going to get your values correctly. So use always text combine instead, because that will always give you the right answer. Okay, so this is all for today. Remember, if you want to see the difference between null and blanks, go to this video and check it out in Power Query. It will help you understand what, <laughs> what happens with the different uh, data types. And uh, otherwise, I will see you on Friday, I think with another DAX Friday's battle. Not sure, but we, we, we will see. I will see you anyhow on Friday. And until then, take care. Bye-bye. Well,